Hi, I'm Marcel James, back with The Pulse. Today's video is about drinking alcohol or quitting drinking alcohol and how it relates to my new routines with supplements and intermittent fasting and exercise, getting better sleep and on and on. I listed a bunch of reasons why I'm no longer going to drink alcohol, at least for quite a while. Uh, I've targeted the next six weeks. So at least six weeks, I'm just going to stop. Now, I did have a trial run um, the past couple weeks. Then I had a, a couple glasses of wine over the weekend and a couple beers. Um, had driven to France, and so that's usually a trigger for me to sit down and have a, have a glass of wine with some good food. Um, but there are a number of reasons why I came to this conclusion. Living in Europe, specifically Germany, it's not easy. Uh, it's, I'm not a heavy drinker whatsoever, but certainly it, it has been a part of my day-to-day, week-to-week routine uh, to have a beer, to have a wine, or even two, three, on rare occasions, more, but very rare. Um, but I found, uh, for a number of reasons that I'm going to go over with you today, that it just doesn't coincide with my with my current goals and where I want to be and where I want to go right now. And it's it's to be honest, it's kind of surprising to me. It's actually very surprising. It's the one thing, if you'd have asked me when I was going to make changes and started to make changes and started to head down a path towards anti-aging, I would always latch on to the information, the scientific data saying, yeah, one or two drinks is healthy, people live longer, and there are studies showing, there's a 50-year long study where they um, looked at people in a retirement community in Southern California, those that drank uh, socially, lightly, one or two drinks a day, beer or wine, um, lived 10 to 15% longer than those who didn't. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of asking, hey, but what were the other reasons? Because socializing, community, these things also extend your life, have been shown to have longevity benefits. So how much of that was related to the alcohol? But, you know, I'll take it that I accept the science that some alcohol in moderation may be good for you. There's a lot of science saying that alcohol is not at all good for you. That's not the reason that I came to this conclusion. It, this one really wasn't science. And almost, I mean, you'd have had to show me some extreme science. And I did see some videos that were pretty much against alcohol consumption. But you'd have had to show me something really, really bad to make me stop drinking based on the science because I just enjoy it. And I, I, I've i never had any, any bad situations really occur because of drinking. So it just... This is part of my life. My, my mom's from Belgium. Uh, I live up that beer heritage that's in my blood, in my DNA. And living in Europe, like I say, I like to, to enjoy it. However, I did find some things on this rabbit hole, as some of you call it, uh, of living healthier, taking supplements, exercising. Now I exercise a lot, and I'm going to talk more about that in another video, but it's a anywhere from three to six hours a day. I always say four to five, but sometimes it's on the lower side or on the stronger side, depending on how many tennis matches I have going on that day. Um, but there's a lot of stretching, there's workouts, um, there's running, um, there's weightlifting. Uh, stretching alone is 40 minutes a day. I mean, that's another video in and of itself. So I've added a bunch of things to this regimen. The reasons uh, again, I'll give you the long version in another video because there are specific reasons. But essentially, I want I, I want to know how far can I turn back the clock? Like I feel like with NMN and with these other routines that I've that I've taken on, I have turned back the clock for myself. Now I really wonder how far I can turn back the clock. And then I also do these things, frankly, because I'm making this video channel. I, I've dedicated myself to keeping you guys apprised, giving you updates. And I just felt like, well, I need to push the envelope so that you can take a look at what I'm doing and decide where you are on the spectrum of activity that you set out for yourself to sort of turn back your own clocks. And then you can take what you like from what I'm doing and then discard the things that you don't, that you feel like are a bridge too far. So the first thing that I noticed with drinking and my new routine, my longevity routine, um, is that I have better recovery from physical activity when I don't drink. 
Like just forget hangovers for a minute because I don't really drink enough to get a heavy hangover. Although I am slowed down the next morning for a few hours and that does impact a lot of things. I also find that if I do have, I want, I would say a minor injury or like a, an injury that can recover, I can recover from quickly, um, maybe tweak something, pull a little something, but you know, it can be better the next day, even sometimes in just a few hours. Uh, NMN has really sped up that recovery process, but when I drink, it's slower. Or I have, if I have some discomfort in my knee or my back, it's worse the next morning, even after a couple beers, it's worse. So that was like, probably any of these reasons on their own are good reasons. When you combine them all together, it seems ludicrous to be drinking, at least as a routine. Um, weight control came up second. I just on the list of things that popped into my mind when I was writing them down. Um, I've lost weight. I'm proud of it. Uh, I, I have a swimsuit goal for the summer to post a picture in a swimsuit that, that doesn't embarrass me too much. Uh, I'm sure I'll be embarrassed anyway, but you know, again, it's just out of, uh, I don't know, just uh, loyalty or dedication to the cause that I'm going to try to do a decent looking summer uh, picture in a bathing suit. So that goal, obviously, you know, a little beer adds a little bit to the pudge. It adds a little bit to the gut, which I've mostly wiped out, but there's still a little bit there. And it, it's it's good for weight control, certainly to stop consuming all those alcohol calories. Third thing I wrote down is better sleep. I mean, I just sleep. It's It's widely known that, yes, you fall asleep quickly when you drink, but you don't sleep as well and you're not as rejuvenated the next day. Um, another reason I have here is uh, more productive. I mean, it's just clear that whether it's making videos, like I didn't drink anything last night, you know, um, whether it's uh, it's making videos or, you know, whatever it is, exercise, or I do do other work, by the way. I'm an audio engineer, so I do freelancing work that way. I also do uh, some work with a software company here in Germany for their U.S. distribution. So I am involved with other work. So it's not like, you know, I need my day. I need my working hours. And alcohol does slow down my productivity. Um, better supplement results. Now we're going to transition into this, really the part of the stuff that I'm doing with supplements, with NMN, resveratrol, why I feel like NMN is, for me, like displaced alcohol in my level of importance and priority. Um, you know, the liver, for example, processes the alcohol first. Um, and, you know, why would I want to do that? If I'm taking multiple supplements, and I just made a video about six supplements I'm taking, plus multiple vitamins, why would I want to negate that and make my body process all this alcohol? Shouldn't I be getting more out of uh, the supplements I'm doing and the healthy eating I'm doing and the intermittent fasting I'm doing. And by the way, you know, alcohol does make you hungry. It makes you want to eat. So it's it's a little harder to manage that. Although with NMN, I haven't had a real problem managing, um, you know, the eating. But, you know, alcohol, you know, it does. It, just, it either makes you want to eat more or makes you want to drink even more. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do want to maximize what the supplements are doing for me. TMG, for example, one of the things of the many benefits that are, have been shown uh, from this supplement is that it helps your liver process. Well, again, why would I want to fight with myself with, for my own liver? Um, interestingly, and probably this is the, the, the thing that pushed me over the edge, is I just don't crave it. Um, I actually uh, feel better on the evenings when I don't drink. And that was the eye opener for me. I noticed that I enjoy my evenings. When, when five o'clock rolls around, yes, I have that impulse that's just programmed in me to say, I, I need a beer. You know, come on, we've all said it, right? Most of us. Uh, I need a beer. You know, I need a drink. And I don't find myself feeling that. I might say it, I might think it, but then I stop myself and I say, Am I really going to feel better? And I never do. I, I feel a little number when I have a drink. You know, whether it's with a meal, without a meal, and it's just a little less sharp, alert, focus, all that brain fog I worked so hard to eliminate, all eliminated sugar, you know, did so many things so well. And then I start pouring down alcohol, which makes sugar in your body. It just it just negates so much of the progress that I've made. 
um, it was easier to stop, which is actually uh, quite interesting. Um, you know, I didn't have trouble. I felt I feel like NMN helps you not only manage your appetite suppression, but uh, your drinking appetite suppression. Right? It helps you, you know, get over it. So um, it's been shown that it can help as a hangover cure, but it can help you quit drinking. From my experience. Uh, I don't feel those urges. And I did feel when I would stop and I would like study for a blood test kind of thing where my liver enzymes were elevated. So I'd go in for a blood test. This was years past. And I would stop drinking for a week before the blood test. So that I get in, I learned, figured this out because one time I got tested and I had just been drinking the last two or three days before. They said, oh, your liver enzymes are up. Why don't you come back in a week? Sometimes it changes. And so I stopped drinking for a week, came back and they go, oh yeah, it's much better. <laughs> so I studied for the test, uh, but and I did struggle more. It wasn't like I was feeling like I was in an extreme alcoholic level, right? But Definitely was having some withdrawals, definitely a little bit edgier, you know, and feeling the cravings to have a drink. So, uh, and I, like I said, I enjoy beer. I enjoy wine. I don't get those cravings when I stop now. I just stopped for two weeks and I was fine. So I really feel, and I all I could feel was more of that boost from, you know, NMN, uh, CAKG, the other things that I'm taking, the healthy living, certainly the exercise. There's a few other things that are honestly important. Uh, I list them, but they're kind of secondary to the main things that I just gave you regarding to my lifestyle choices now and supplements and health, general health. Obviously, it's healthier not to drink alcohol. Um, no driving worries. You know, I do. we do get in the car. We go as a family. And I always have to say, well, I'm just going to have one. Maybe I'll have two with the food and then we'll walk a bit. And then I'll just, you know, you don't want to cross over that edge. You certainly don't want to do anything dangerous for your family or anyone else or get in trouble. So, um, you know, there are those responsibility. Don't drink and drive. Well, it's a whole lot easier if you just don't drink, you know. Um, and I know it's not easy for everybody. You know, I get that. I mean, literally, quitting drinking is no joke. I mean, it is, uh, it changes your brain when you stop because you really get addicted to it. In your, your stomach, your gut, your microbiome actually goes through changes in re more recent science. So this is um, not a joke. I'm not saying this is a, a trivial thing or necessarily that everyone must stop. I'm only explaining the reasons that I'm stopping, at least for six weeks. I've got a tennis match in six weeks. I plan to have a beer with the guys afterwards, but I'll, I'll probably quit in another few weeks after that. Again, I don't plan on drinking as a general routine, but maybe as highlights of uh, you know moments where I'm in France or tra Italy or traveling or something, or with friends after a big match. You know, then then I'll, I'll probably have a beer or two, but I'm not going to go back to the routine as long as I'm pursuing the the goals that I have here. A uh, financial, you just save money. You know, it's like kind of like quitting smoking. You save a bunch of money. Um, and then this is kind of a bigger, bigger one than maybe I'm giving it credit. Allergies are, are better. Now, I didn't have allergies through the fall and winter season, and I usually do have some. I normally get worse allergies in the spring and summer, hay fever allergies. This year, I've only had three moments that I remember where I got a little bit of watery eyes and maybe sneezed a few times, but nothing. I would say 10, 15% of what I usually get. So it's the supplements I still believe have helped suppress the allergies. But when I get allergies, alcohol always makes them worse. It always, it never helps. You know, you think, oh, a little relief, get drink a little bit, and maybe I'm number, but the allergy symptoms are always worse and certainly worse in the morning. So there's another uh, benefit. So those are the reasons I'm giving it a break, if not quitting. For the most part, I'm calling it quitting um, because, uh, you know, I may, you know, I also quit sugar, but I may have a piece of uh of a cake or a cookie a couple times a month. So, you know, did I quit sugar? Yes, I did as a general routine. I quit it day to day. I avoid it. Um, but, you know, I may have a little cake or a little uh, glass of wine this summer somewhere. So uh, wish me luck. And if you guys, please leave some comments, subscribe, get involved. Let me know your experiences, your thoughts on the topic. My next video is going to be about your comments. So the more that you comment and, uh, let me know things, the more I can read and respond to you, hopefully. Um, and, uh, yeah, 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.